elect men, his, uh, his angels are going to be going around. And it's time to come. And it's time to come. If if, if you understand the depiction of this video, of this picture, you will see that this is the time where nuclear missiles going to be dropping and, and chariots. That's how you have going to scoop you up. And you're going to you're going to have no body. You got it. All right, I thought it was a good verse. Let's see something. Let's read this real fast. Then um, this is John chapter twelve, verse thirty-five. Then Yahweh shall set. Hold on. This is a little fast. Says, um, um, uh, it says John chapter 12 verse 35 Then Yahweh shall said unto him Yet a little while is the light with you Walk while ye have the light Lest darkness come upon you <laughs> Unless darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not what he whether he goes. You don't know where he goes. Right now we are, we got the beacon of light, the Yahweh shines that light. Okay? And we don't want right now in this time in 2020, 20, we don't want this light to dim. We want this bright light to stay good brighter. Those that you lose your light. What's Yahweh Shah? What's Yahweh Shah? What's Yahweh Shah? Yahweh saying Yahweh Shah to be the beacon of light. If you lose that, you ain't gonna get nothing. You ain't gonna be able to receive what is to come. And this is happening to people, to individuals. They're losing their light, they're losing their oil. You know? See why? <sighs> oh, this is the spirit. And this is true. And this is, has happened to our apostles. And, it, and if it happened to our past, if it happened to Yahweh, let me see, go a little further back. If it happened to Yahweh Shah, it happened to, our, to, to all the other Yachim in between, the brothers, it's written in the book, and um, always the brothers now, and it's our apostles. And it's happening to us, because it's, it's, it's slant, people are slandering our name. All right? And they're coming out, they're leaving out of this, and then what happened? You, you're being blind by the darkness, because you know what? The Dark Lord. Has taken over you. That why you about you outside. I don't want the dark lord to take over me because I came family not to be doing doing nothing else. Because I, this world, I, I, it's a clear, it's it's, it's 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 clarity, it's clear understanding that this world ain't giving us nothing. It's not. It ain't giving us nothing. First John chapter two verse eleven. But he that hated his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because the darkness has blind his eyes. Yeah, you your your mind is blind too. You can't see the truth. You've forgotten the truth. 
We don't want to go back to this this filthy ass world. We don't want to be in this world. So long. Um, Proverbs, go back, we're going back. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 19. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not what they stumble. My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ears unto my saying. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. Keep them in the midst of your mind. Hold on. Alright, it says Proverbs chapter Salaki. Proverbs chapter uh, Proverbs Salaki. Got some pain. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou will receive my word and hide my commandment with thee. So that thou incline thy ears unto my unto wisdom, and apply thy heart unto understanding. That's right. That's what we're supposed to do. You know, we're supposed to get this and and, and study this, go through these scriptures, and um, what it says, get understanding. Do that precept, we get understanding. What it says, it says right here, it says, um, verse 3, Yea, if thou cry after knowledge, and lift up thy voice for understanding, if thou seeketh her silver, and searcheth for her as a hidden treasure, then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of Yahweh. There you go. For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth, cometh knowledge and understanding. So that's what it's about. That's treasure. And that's the path. Hold on, let's go back to that book. Read that verse too. Let me see if I can find it. This one. This will be how Shah said. Right? Because he is the path. Matthew chapter 7, verse 14. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. Life, life. And few there be that find it. Only a few that find it. There's only a few good men that gonna get this. I brought this out one of those men. And I'm looking, I'm just, this picture always been stuck in my mind. And it's, it's, it's clarity. See, they were, un See, <laughs> I was just thinking. I remember Pastor Ramon, I said this one time. He said, he said they saw, they saw grays, but it was gray afros. <laughs> it looked like a big head. Like, you see an afro, right? And it's shiny, it's gray, and it's glowing, and then that. And then, and then I, and then the afro is so big. Salaki, all right. I just I, when he said this, I this is what I depicted, and the eyeballs was probably glowing, and it was so the face was so shiny. All they saw was an afro. So I, I just I don't know, Salaki. It, it just made logical sense. <laughs> the grays, the afros, 
the gray afros you saw, you Ashashis. You saw the kings, man, the righteous kings, man. The gray afros, man. The afros was straight. The afros was straight round. So, man, I let you all prayers and honor and glory to Yah Bashmel Shah. Why do y'all watch Mel Shah to give us apostles and elders of great millstone who deserve double honors? Rightfully so. Shalom to the Akin. Shalom.